Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Lisa Renee TV. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button today before you leave and make sure to share, share, share on all your social media networking sites that you happen to be on and make sure to thumbs up the video if you do like what you see of course all right welcome back everyone newbies and of course my current subscribers welcome back guys all right so let's get right into this video um this middle of the week um inspirational video is a little bit late uh i'm a, I'm a day late but i'm not a dollar short okay i promise you that uh correct change Okay, you can count it to check. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, we're going to jump right in. I'm, I do apologize. Yesterday was kind of hectic for me, so I didn't get a chance to hop on. But I'm going to hop on today and we'll chat a little bit with you. Okay, so um, this is something that dropped into my spirit because it actually is based on um, the current, uh, me and my boyfriend are doing a couple's fasting and Bible study for this whole month. So one of the chapters that we read is like a morning devotional is from Psalm 19. And so it's like part of that verse, like something that stuck out to me. And so the Holy Spirit spoke to me on that. So who can discern their own errors? So can you really discern or figure out all the what's and why's of all your wrongdoings? No, you don't have the logic or foreknowledge or enough wisdom to do so. Why? Because, simply because you are and always will be subject to human error. So you have a loving God who knows all and sees all. He thinks higher than you do. He's boundless. He has no limitations. But you're limited to your own mental capacities. So I'll actually read that particular verse of the devotional that we read every morning. So Psalms 19, 11 to 14 verse. So this is from the Amplified Virgin. Okay. All right. There's more. God's word warns of, warns us of danger and directs us to hidden treasure. Otherwise, how will we find our way or know when we play the fool? Clean the slate. Clean the slate, God, so we can start the day fresh. Keep me from stupid sins, from thinking I can take over your work. Then I can start this day, sun washed, scrubbed clean of the grime of sin. These are the words in my mouth. These are what I chew on and pray. Accept them when I place them on the morning altar. O oh God, my altar rock. God, priest of my altar. So, that was from Psalms 19, 11 to 14. So... That verse actually um, made me think of another passage that I follow in my everyday life. And that's from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, which reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. So it's a practice that I try to definitely keep up. Always remember to do this. Um, I always get what I call heart checks done periodically by God. So much like when we go to our primary care physician, right? So we go to pr the primary care physician or gynecologist for us ladies. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. And uh, <laughs> if any guys are watching. Um, so, yeah. So we go there. We get checkups, right? And we want, to, want the doctors to tell us what well, everything's okay. We want to make sure everything is functioning properly. So much like you go there to a primary care physician or gynecologist, you have to go to God to get your heart checked periodically um, to make sure that you are functioning spiritually at 100%. So... That is God's main concern for you and for all of us that um, we are functioning spiritually um, at an optimal level. So when I go see my chiropractor, um, my chiropractor talks a lot about uh, health-wise, like um, you're, they deal with the back, right? So they deal with the back and neck and, and things like that and the spine. So the spine is actually connected to every other part of your nervous system and the functionality of your whole entire body. And so he talk he talks a lot about um, functioning at optimal health. So what does that mean? You know, functioning at the best that you can be functioning at, basically. Having your health be at a, a level where um, every system in your body 
is 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 really at it, at its best level. It's at the highest level of you know capacity that it can be, where you are feeling good. You're not only just you know feeling good, but you actually really are doing good. Each system is is good. There are, there are no problems. There's no issues. There's nothing flaring up on the inside that we can't see. So that that's um just like your doctors are concerned with that that uh, as far as dealing with your physical body, they're concerned with those issues, and God is concerned with um the issues of your heart. What's going on with your heart? What's going on with your spirit, man? So He's concerned with that. Like I know a lot of us heard heard of God is not as concerned with you being happy. Now, to you know, a carnal man, you know, <laughs> so a carnal person, if you're not quite spiritually in tune or a newbie in the walk in Christ, that doesn't sound good to you. You'd be like, what do you mean he don't, so he don't care if I'm happy or not? No one said that. But <laughs> yes, he wants you to be happy, but he's really more or less concerned, more so concerned with you being spiritually healthy because happy is, you know, fleeting. Also, as far as your... Uh, not being able to discern your own sins, your own transgressions. And, you know, because what happens is when we do things, uh, particularly sins or things that are out of alignment, what what happens is we use our own ra- our own rationale, which is usually incorrect. You use human, you know, this is why we're subject to human error, because we use human logic, which is not God logic. Human logic is not God logic. You can't see past, um, you can't see what he sees. So you can't see past what you know up here, whatever you have, whatever mental capacity you have, however far it goes, that's all you got to work with. So, you're very, you're limited. You're quite limited. It doesn't mean you're stupid, but it just means you only can go so far you know so <laughs> you know no so so your happiness is as far as you feeling happy about something you know you 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 can rationalize yourself to happy <laughs> you know like you, you you really can you you can sit up and you can do something and you can say was i wrong for that that's not that bad right you can ask several you we do it all the time we ask several of our friends girl what you think about that I thought you, you know what, you do the best for you, girl, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, I knew it. Okay, thank y'all. I love you. Okay, I love y'all. You know what, y'all always got my back. I knew I'm good. I'm happy. (laughs) You're happy. Why are you happy? Because you just rationalize, you know, your own stupidity. (laughs) Whatever you did that was stupid or wrong or whatever, you just rationalize and you got your friends to agree with it because they too have human logic. So both of y'all, are, are all y'all, he, are imperfect people, you know, <laughs> you're imperfect people try, trying to make perfect sense out of something, you know, and it's hard, right? You know, it, it's hard. So hence why God is not as concerned with that happy factor there, not all the time. He's like, that, that can wait. I really want to make sure that, that you're spiritually sound. That's why I need to get this heart, because this heart can be real jacked up, you know, because the heart is wicked. Who can know it but God? So, because he knows it way better than you, it's important that you go get them heart checks. <laughs> you got to get those heart checks. You can get everything else checked, but this thing up in here could be real nasty, and you don't even see it. You don't even see it. You have no idea, because you're happy. <laughs> you good. you like, oh, I'm good. I've been feeling good. You know, because you've been rationalizing the heck out of uh, whatever you've been doing that, that you ain't supposed to be doing. You've been like, I am good. You've been using that good old human logic, you know. You're like, I'm great. And you got your your your, uh, your friends to back you up. You know, they, they co-signing in the background to help you out. And I'm like, <laughs> did you ask God what he thought? Did you care to ask me Haxon, what he thought? Probably not, because you know... He would not like it. He would he would hit you with the truth, you know. So that's all I really wanted to drop today. <laughs> I just wanted to just drop that tip just to help us in our path to getting getting more whole, getting happier, happy because we're happy. <laughs> you know, get, get, getting getting healthier. You know, um, not just you know body wise like oh I'm eating less and I'm exercising more, but get, getting getting spiritually healthier too. You know, because this is a new year, it's a new month, y'all. March is here. We done marched on in. You know, it's here. You know, so we we want to every month we want to set that goal. We want to sit before God and have Him do heart checks. I ask God. I said, "Is there anything in my heart that's not like You? Take it away from me." So do heart checks. 
you know, have him check your heart out every now and then. You know, as he'll show you things that are ugly, and it's okay because he's going to remove those things and he's going to constantly refine you and make you better. So you want to do um, that periodically. Um, also, I don't know if I told you guys, but I know I was talking in the last video about just, you know, doing new things and setting goals weekly. So we want to be... Um, thinking in terms of uh doing something different and i was telling i was telling my boyfriend about that and he thought it was awesome so let's try to set our sights on doing something different so every week we're going to do something different do something new you all can drop in the comments below or email me anytime if you got me on facebook facebook me and tell me like you know what did you do differently what have you done differently like this week that you didn't do last week and how has it changed your life has it changed in any way have things changed in your world or what you know so yeah, I mean, let me know. So, it, it could be anything. It could be some, something, you know, related to spiritual. It could be, you know, anything else in your life. You know, it's just something different that you change within your habits or work life or whatever. So, do, we're doing something different. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, because we want to be different. We want to be better. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I will be back, um, let's see, next week, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on time because I, I, I was off, I'm off by a day. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, things got kind of crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I will see you guys uh, later, and you guys be blessed, and you have a swell rest of your week and a great weekend. All right. Bye.